today I'm going to work on the disk drive. I want to do some maintenance on it. I've mentioned in a few of the videos I've been doing that it sounds like it needs to be maintained. So I'm going to take it apart and I'm going to clean it up inside and I'm going to put some lube on the rails just to make sure everything's working good. To take it apart, there's six screws on the bottom. It's really easy to get into this one. Remove the six screws. Once you remove the six screws, take off these two plates here, set them off to the side. Now down inside, there's four more screws. One here, 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 and here. They have to be removed so you can take the mechanism out of the case. I recently rebuilt my bench. So let me know in the comments what you think of the new camera placement and how it works. I have full access now with my hands since the camera's right above. So we'll see how this works out. But let me know in the comments what you think. And if you see any room for improvement, let me know that too. Sorry, I moved the top cover. Set that to the side. Now I'm just gonna take these screws out when it falls over. Put them in the case here. Now what I want to do is I want to one, let me close this up here. I'm gonna lube the rails. It's hard to see them, but the rails right down in here. I'm gonna lube those up that the head mechanism goes on. I'm gonna clean the head. And I'm just wanted overall just make sure there's no dust built up in here. I can strip this down further to get to it. But really, I don't have to pull it apart too much. But while I'm in here, let me just give you a quick tour of how this system works. This is basically a normal disk drive right here. This right here is your write protect sensor. This right here and that right there is your disk sensor. It senses whether a disk has been placed in. This right here is your index hole. I, uh, no, that's, that's another disk sensor. This right here is your index hole. This obviously is your head goes back and forth. This is your control board for that disk drive. Down here is the actual, well this is the motor control board and this is the actual atom net control board. That little potentiometer right there, if you ever need to adjust the speed of your disk drive, that's what you do with that one right there. Inside is the 6801 processor. Over on this side, hard to say, but inside here is the EEPROM. I'm sorry, EEPROM's over here, my bad. I can strip this down a lot further, but the whole purpose of today's little video is I just want to do a little maintenance on this thing so it doesn't make a lot of noise. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my isopropyl alcohol and some Q-tips and I just want to wipe things down before I put anything on them. So I get some rubbing alcohol on the Q-tip. And for, I'm gonna clean the head off in here. And then I'm gonna close it and then lift the head up. See, I'm gonna show you. How it, right down inside there, that beige piece with the little line across it, that's the read right head. I wanna clean that. So I lift the head up and I just take my Q-tip and clean it. I have a head cleaner, a disc that you put in to clean with, and I can always use that. But this is, I want to get a good cleaning on it right now. Then I want to see, is there anything dirty in here before I start cleaning? Okay, it looks okay. So we'll set that one to the side. And what I'm going to do now is, dirty before I start putting lube on here. I'm going to take some white lithium grease. I'm going to spray a little bit of it into the cap, not a lot. I just want a little bit of it. See right there? I'm gonna take a Q-tip. And I'm just gonna, the silver rails, those cylinders down there, that's what we wanna lube up. I'm gonna put a little bit on there. And then the other side, I'm gonna do the same thing. Bring the head forward, come back here. 
Put a little bit on that one. A little bit on that one. I'm staying away from the electronics as best as possible and I'm staying away from the actual read write head. I don't want to get nothing of this on this so I can help. I don't want to make anything dirty. This disk drive works really good. I want it to stay that way. So there, now. Nice and smooth. It's the way it should be. If you have a disk drive and occasionally the disk will not pop out, I just want to show you. This right here, I'll grab, let me grab a disk down here. When you slide a disk in, this little thing right here, this little piece of metal right there, engages with the disk, goes back and catches on that. A little spring there. And then when you open the drive, it pops it out. If you have a problem where your disc is not coming out, it won't pop out, this is catching. And it's not releasing off of this. Try adjusting this little spring right here. Bend it very slightly back and forth until it lets go. Now I could also, if I wanted to, I could pull this apart get deeper on the side and put some lube on the bearing here. But the bearing seems to be pretty good. It doesn't make any noise. Uh, we actually, you know what? I'm going to put just a little bit. I, what I'm doing is I'm taking the lube right here. I'm really loading up the Q-tip so it's soaked with it. I'm just gonna put some right in here. I'm just gonna push on it. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm pushing on it and making it just seep down inside this here. I'm not going to touch the bottom one. I'm just worried about the top. The bottom is fine. Up here on the top, it's just metal on metal. Down the bottom, it's actual motor, and I'm not going to touch that. So that's what the my, that's just the minor maintenance that needs to be done on this on these disk drives is just to clean them up, clean the head, make sure the rails are clean, make sure they're lubed. Everything else, it's self-maintaining. It takes care of itself, basically. Well, not self-maintaining, but you know what I mean. <sighs> Blow out any dust that's in there. These disk drives are very rare, hard to come by. So you want, if you have one, you really want to maintain it. You don't want it to break. You don't want it to fall apart. You want to take care of it. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put it back together. And then we'll be done. Me and my club fingers. I always say I need to get a magnet, I need to get a magnet, and yet I don't, oh my God, that one fell in the hole. Did you see that? What was the odds of that happening? It fell in the hole. The rest of them aren't gonna go in very easily. But I do need to get a little magnet. I keep meaning to, I have one at the, my house that I used to use when I was working out of the house all the time. It's just sitting on the refrigerator holding things to the refrigerator. And whenever I worked at the kitchen table, I would take it off and I would use it and then I'd put it back and I could really use it right now. So that I don't keep dropping the screws like that. Got lucky on that one.
Arg. All right, maybe that's going to become a feature of my channel. How many times has Millie dropped the screws? All right, so there we go, that's done. Take my little rag here, wet it down with some Windex, and just give her a nice wipe down on top. And she's all done, ready to go. And that's how you maintain your dish drive.